Welcome back to Cepheus Protocol, folks. Today we are going to do 10 tips for complete beginners. But before we jump into the tips, I just want to say a huge thank you for all the support that you've been showing the channel and Cepheus Protocol in particular. It really means a lot to me that you guys are uh, subscribing and liking. It, it means the world to me. You have no idea. And I can't thank you enough for supporting the channel. With that said, let's jump right into the tips. Tip number one, start as far away from the swirling things as you possibly can. The swirling things are where the infected start, so you want to start as far away from them as possible. So down here, up here, something like that. Start as far away from them as you possibly can. Tip number two, you can upgrade your command tents to earn more money. So we have our command tent placed down from our capture truck and we can click here to earn more money from our zones that we control. Tip number three, you can set the training level when you recruit new people. So you can drag it here. It takes longer and longer for them to train, but it's well worth it once you have a few units out. So you can either do it here individually per unit that you are uh, purchasing, or you can do it up here and you can set up your uh, training levels, uh, default training durations here. So three minutes, five minutes, level three, seven minutes, level four, eight minutes, level five. So very, very useful to get higher levels. Higher level units are of course better. Tip number four, you can loosen and tighten your formations. So we're currently in this wedge formation and we can go ahead and we can loosen it and they will move further away from each other. This is very useful against, for instance, juggernauts and uh, worms because you don't want to be bunched up when you're up against a worm or a juggernaut because they do swipes that kill entire groups. Tip number five, use flashbangs on juggernauts, the big guys, the King Kongs. Use flashbangs on them. It's only winter and the Spec Ops guys that have flashbangs, but use them on the juggernauts. It freezes them in their tracks. Then you can throw grenades with your assaults and they are quite easy to take down when uh, you use the flashbang. Just make sure it hits. And also loosen your formations when you're up against uh, the juggernauts because uh, they throw rocks at you that can hit multiple troops at a time and they will kill you but hit them with a flashbang and they'll stop in their tracks they will, will they'll just stand there for a while and you can uh, tear them down just like that tip number six stay away from corners these are zombies we're dealing with not enemy soldiers with uh, rifles that can shoot at us so we don't really need cover uh, as we would do in a regular uh, war game. So stay away from the corners. Try and stay in as open areas as possible so that you have the best possible line of sight so that you can kill the zombies as they approach and not as they come around a, a corner and just jump right into your face. Tip number seven. You can blow up some of the bridges. So just you just need a radio operator and you can... Bomb call in a carpet bomb and there you go the bridge has been blown up so that the infected can't cross you can do that with this bridge here this bridge here this bridge this bridge and this bridge so those are the bridges that you can blow up one two three four and five tip number eight Having forces in a sparrow, in a chopper, that can quickly react uh, to a territory being lost or something like that is fantastic. Have a sparrow filled up with some different troops, maybe some uh, spec ops, some assaults and some heavies, some snipers, uh, and you're really, really well set up to go and defend quickly wherever they're needed. You, you really need to have a quick response force in a chopper. Tip number nine, when setting up your defenses, make sure that you chop down 
the trees so that your turrets have line of sight. So set up the turrets where you want them, make sure that uh, there's not buildings in the way and stuff like that. And if there are trees, then chop them down so that your turrets have line of sight. It's really useful and it really helps out your turrets a lot uh, so that the zombies don't get in there and start uh, beating on them. Tip number 10. Losing is part of the game. If Winters dies, or Winter dies, her name is not Winters, it's Winter, then you've basically lost the game. Of course, you can uh, load the last quick save, but losing is part of the game. Don't get frustrated about it. It happens to everyone. And just taking take it as a learning experience and uh, improve your game from what you have learned by losing. Uh, I have lost the game tons of times. It happens to everyone. Don't worry about it. Just don't get disheartened. Jump back in and start a new playthrough. If you feel like all is lost, it happens to everyone. And a little bonus tip. We don't have our radio operator in our group. So he is currently groupless. So in order to get the radio operator into the group, we can do control one and he puts he's put into group one. So I had a lot of questions about that. So I thought I'd add that into this and that was it for the tips i hope you found them useful let me know if you comments in the comments if you did or or didn't uh, i'd great, be very grateful for your feedback and uh, yeah thank you very much for watching have fun playing cepheus protocol and uh, see you in the next video